Hello, very warm welcome. I want to talk about Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, a friendship that has been kind of broken. This is a really, really sad story. Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, they grew up together. Holiday in Italy, karting, teammates. I mean, then the relationship went sour. Um, yeah, they live so close together. I mean, they've now got teams in the Extreme E Championship in Saudi Arabia. And yeah, it's a friendship that's gone sour. And I've got to say, it's disappointing because they spent so much time together as youngsters. Eating pizza, like go-karting, unicycling. They were very, very good friends. And I want to see that rela relationship be like it was. Friends. Nico Rosberg's retired now. And he's a pundit. He's doing his own things. He's uh, got a racing team. Hamilton's got his own racing team in the Extreme Me. I would love them to be friends again. Like really good friends, like they were. Um, it's a sad story. Um, because um, we have seen them talking in the paddock. Because Nico Rosberg works as a pundit for Sky Sports, Sky Germany. And yeah, we've seen them talking in the paddock, but... It all changed, uh, didn't it? 2013, Lewis Hamilton comes into Mercedes to replace Michael Schumacher. It was fine in the first year, and then they were battling for the title, and it got very heated. Um, very heated indeed. Um, Nico Rosberg parking it at Monaco. 100% he did it on purpose, like Michael Schumacher. And somehow he got away with it. God only knows how he got away with it. 100% uh, he did it on purpose. Um, yeah. I mean, I remember that. That was tense in the press conference. Um, uh, Lewis got a radio message. Yellow flags, yellow flags. Nico's off. Nico's off. Ah, that was very good of him. Very good of him. It was tense. It was tense. This is a great friendship. That turned into battling for the F1 title. It was tense. And Toto Wolff's recently come out saying, we don't want a repeat of that. Hence why wingman Valtteri Bottas is still at Mercedes and still conning a drive. Because they don't want a repeat of Rosberg Hamilton. But I want to see them friends again. But you look, it was tense. 2014, Monaco parked it on purpose. Then you had the team orders at Hungary. Hamilton was instructed to let Nico pass. He didn't. If Nico wants to overtake me, then he can overtake me. And then we came to Spa, where on the second lap, once again, Nico Rosberg did it on purpose. Like, when Hamilton does wrong, I say he does wrong as we will get to it in 2016. But once again, Rosberg did that on purpose because of team orders in Hungary. Going down into down the Kemmel straight, Nico tried to go around the outside. Obviously, Hamilton's going to go out wide. Clipped Hamilton's rear tyre. Hamilton got a puncture, scored no points. Nico Rosberg finished second. Daniel Ricciardo won that race. And Nico got booed like crazy on the podium. Then uh, a great moment between two great friends. I have to say, Nico Rosberg, the sporting, the sportsmanship to Abu Dhabi. We had that um, Nico Rosberg had a problem with the car. We need to retire, Nico. No, I would like to go to the finish. And then he had the gracious in defeat to come and congratulate Hamilton. That was a fantastic moment by Nico Rosberg. Then we go on to 2016 and the famous Spain incident where Max won his first race. And for me, both to blame at that one. Both to blame. Um, a police car has just pulled outside my house. What is he doing? Uh, yeah, both to blame at Spain. 
Nico was in the wrong power setting. Hamilton, very aggressive, probably should have gone to the outside. Instead, went to the inside. They go on the grass, they collide. For me, both at fault. Um, yeah. Way to... Just, there's a police car outside my house. He's actually making me paranoid. Um, yeah. Anyway, 2016, Spain, they were both to blame. And then 2016, it was the moment Rosberg won the championship. Um, obviously, we had the incident at Austria. And again, Rosberg at fault again. Now, it sounds like I'm bitching about Rosberg, but like he was genuinely at fault for a lot of the incidents. Like Hamilton is a clean racer. Like I say, he's never hit anyone to win a world championship. Of course, he played games at Abu Dhabi trying to back Nico into the pack. But, I mean, he was losing the world championship, so he's got to try something. Um, yeah, Austria he just didn't turn the steering wheel. But Nico Rosberg achieved a dream like his father. He was F1 world champion, and then he shocked everyone by retiring from the sport. And then he's pursued other dreams, became a pundit, does other things, got his own racing team. But I just want them to be friends again. You'll never get a better moment between two friends when Hamilton won the race in Australia. Nico Rosberg got on the podium, finished third in the Williams. And they were hugging each other. They were so happy. Hamilton was so happy for his friend. It's a really sad state of affairs. I mean, they actually live in the same apartment. Now, they could be friends again behind closed doors, but we don't know because it's a lot of animosity. Of course, they were battling for the world championship. Of course, tensions are going to be high. But it's water under the bridge now. It's happened. I mean, yeah. I mean, he didn't do bad, did he, Rosberg? I mean, he beat Hamilton. Not many people beat Hamilton. I mean, he did get pretty lucky, I have to say. Like, I stand by that. Hamilton won more races that season. But Rosberg did what he needed to do. Hamilton was in the lead by 22, 23 seconds. Engine went bang. Rosberg knew he just had to finish second, 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 second. And he was world champion. And he did that. But yeah, I would love to see Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg become... Fr like proper friends again. I would love to see them. I, what what I would love to see is Nico Rosberg working for Sky Sports and interview Lewis Hamilton and talk about, like be open about it. I remember an interview where they, what they did in 2013 for BBC. They were sat on tyres and they were going, they were playing that game, him and her. Like him, uh, him and her, and yeah, who who's the loudest? And they would like it was just a great friendship that turned into a title fight, and there was animosity there, which was very disappointing. But I would love them to become friends again. Um, yeah, they spent so much of their childhood together, and it's sad how it's ended uh, for me. But yeah. I would love them to sit down, do an interview, and talk about it. Be open about it. Rosberg comes, oh yeah, I remember this. It was tense. It was a, my fault, looking back on it. But yeah. Will they ever be real friends again? I hope so. I do believe once they retire, Hamilton retires, should I say, they will become friends again. Um, yeah. Britney. <laughs> Britney's in the wall. I remember that by Mark Webber. Just great banter. But yeah, kind of really sad how it ended. Rosberg, Hamilton, they battled for a championship. There was respect there. It was tense. And Toto Wolf literally has come out this week and said, I don't want another repeat of that. Hence why we have Lewis Hamilton dominating Barry Bottas.
that police car is still outside. It is. <laughs> like, it's making me, like, anxious. It's, like, parked right outside my house. Like, literally, right outside my house. And they're just sat in the car. I don't have a clue what they're doing with their face masks on. Comment down below your thoughts on the relationship between Rosberg and Hamilton. I would love them to be friends again. Like proper friends, like they were in their childhood. Maybe they are behind closed doors, but yeah. Well, I mean, when you're fighting for the title, you can't really be friends, can you? You've got to be selfish about your career. And that's what happened um, at times, but yeah. Comment down below your thoughts. Would love to know. Adios.